been a while. It's it's been many many days, and uh, nothing I can say for that except sorry. But we're working on it now. <laughs> So I really would like to finish up this first floor. It's pretty close to being done as is, but we're missing one important block. That's a mushroom block, specifically the brown mushroom block. So we're going to work on that today. Just need to do a little diggy diggy. Uh, let's see, I, I was doing some things. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to turn this into a mushroom farm, not an overly complicated mushroom farm, just something nice, easy and quick that I can use to get brown mushroom block because everyone knows if you misplace something next to them, you basically skin it and I'm probably going to do that a lot. So I'm going to need a lot of brown mushroom blocks. So I figured let's let's just do a little not necessarily a manual farm because getting the mushrooms themselves will be automatic. But yep, that time of the year cough is back. But a way to get the uh, the brown blocks and maybe even the stems block manually. So my plan is using this room. We're gonna have this wall. We'll have an automatic farm behind that. We'll probably do some tinted glass. I've even borrowed some amethyst shards from Jimbo. So we can do that because I, I don't have an amethyst uh, geo near my base, which kind of stinks. You would think with them being all over, I'd be able to find one underneath. Not so much. So we'll have like an automatic here and then we'll have some kind of storage here. And I'm thinking because our wheat farms right here, we can literally if this thing were to ever overflow, which I, I really doubt it will, we can just make the overflow dump into the, the wheat farm. And then it'll get composted and turned into bone meal for us. So that'll be kind of cool. So first things first, I want to go ahead and get the the mushrooms growing. And uh, I kind of need to dig a little bit more. So we'll be back once I've got that in place. Okay, guys, many days later, lots of different variants built. Proof of concept. This works. Oh, it's so, so painfully slow. Like I thought dripstone was slow and I figured the rate of these guys would be about as slow, but it's so much slower. Oh man. So the farm's good. There's several farms out there. Like I was watching tutor tutorials to figure out spawning mechanics that those tutorials shouldn't work. There's a lot of micro versions uh, that do very well. Uh, they work great, but some of the bigger, larger ones that allow you to do on mass, <sighs> technically those mechanics, like if you have five mushrooms within a nine by nine by three space, uh, it doesn't spawn any more mushrooms. So planting 20 something mushrooms as seed mushrooms doesn't work. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why some of these farms are designed like that, but my design works. So I'm going to stick with it again, not very fast, but I just needed some seed mushrooms in case I forget and run out. And now I have a farm that just makes them for me. So what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and tie this section up to a daylight sensor. So once a day, this whole thing will wash itself out and we can start again. And I'll probably start, I have a bit of an ice path right here. So they'll probably come washed out, come down here, go this way. And I'll probably have some little storage for it right here. Nothing big, nothing more than a couple chests. Cause I doubt I'll ever fill up more than one chest. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that and we'll be back. Okay, so I've been trying to play around with a few designs and <laughs> I think I have an idea like, Honestly, I'm not sure. Can I place this block correctly? Maybe? Uh, eh. So I kind of want to put this split midway up using some stuff. Okay, you know what? We're, we're breaking out the scaffolding. Duds is vertically challenged. That's all kinds of wrong. But if, if we do these stairs, and we have this kind of uh, 
split in the wall. And then I'm thinking like brown concrete powder. <laughs> it's going to be a very brown room, but I mean, we're growing brown mushrooms in here. And I used a lot of red in the actual farm, so I don't want to use red again. Maybe? Maybe this is okay? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put it on the wall. We're going to find out if it looks good or not, and then come back. Okay, walls are in. I've changed them up a little bit. We went with cyan terracotta instead of brown. Mainly because there's going to be a lot of brown on the walls. Uh, we're, we're needing these brown mushroom blocks to do... Oh, there's Arrington. We'll say hi. We're using brown mushroom blocks to fill in the spaces between rooms. I, I didn't mention that earlier. That's why we need them. So making this whole room brown, especially because you can see it, it comes out and the front face carries the design of the walls. I, d I didn't want to make this brown also when we're using brown as a separator indicator. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and went with cyan terracotta. I think it looks really good. We are gonna bring in the spruce. We're gonna carry it into the room. I'm gonna kind of make a bit of a circular shape or a U shape really, because this is gonna stay on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna bring this this uh, deep slate up one so we can kind of mimic the ceiling, how it's got that. It, yeah, it, it'll work, it'll work. And then for the ceiling, I think what I'm going to do is use another design that I have already. And up here, you probably already know where I'm going. I'm going to use this because I really love this, especially with uh, flat ceilings, because I, I want to make this flat for the use of growing mushrooms. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to go with this. And if you guys haven't watched all the way through last episode me and Jimbo grabbed these guys at the end and uh, we're gonna use these in the base at some point maybe next episode maybe this episode I'm not sure yet but I want to get the floor in and I want to get the ceiling in and then we'll be back yeah this room's starting to come together ceiling is in floor is in and I'm liking it uh the only thing is obviously because of the way this room shaped with this side being extended further than this side Everything's a little off kilter, but that's fine. That's fine. I like it this way. This, nothing should be asymmetrical for the most part in this space. Obviously, we have a little bit of asymmetry with some of the entrances to rooms and stuff, but the rooms should feel a little off because this is this is me taking over a place that was taken over by a place that was taken over by a place. You see what I'm saying? Every room changes over time, and I think this is doing... Cuff done snuck up on me. This is doing exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, hey, there we go. The day changed so we can see the water flowing. Doesn't look like we got any mushrooms on that one, but we are getting mushrooms. Like I went ahead and timed it for three hours. I, I just sat here, AFK, went and cleaned up the house a little bit, had some lunch, and I got 10 mushrooms in three hours. So this isn't a bad farm at all. It's working the way it's supposed to. I do have a little worry about some of the mushrooms maybe spreading down here. Um, it's in that light level range. I don't know if they can spread to wood. I know this dirt probably. Uh, this one probably won't spread. Uh, maybe 11. I think it has to be like under 14. I don't know. We're just going to keep an eye on it and we'll play with light levels uh, depending on the problem. If, if it gets too much, we'll just get some... Uh, Lichen, there we go. I forgot the name of it. Lichen, and we'll just throw it on the floor somewhere. And it'll be nice, it'll be good. But let's grab some bone meal, because I want to make sure we can still grow a giant mushroom in this room, considering I dropped the the ceiling height by half a block uh, when I put that ceiling in. So let's let's grab one of ours real quick. And uh, we'll place it on our block. There we go. <laughs> perfect that's exactly what i want i'm not looking for a lot of stim i'm looking for a lot of this so that does exactly what i want i've hidden lighting above the ceiling so these trapdoors all have uh frog lamps above it and what that's going to do is if i want to grow a mushroom and leave it here i don't have to worry about spawns spawning on top of it 
So we have light above, we have light below. We're good. We can start getting into some of the details. Like, I want to put some dead bushes around, maybe some moss blocks. We're going to put some more things on the wall because they're, they're still kind of plain. So, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with the floor. Just, well, no, I, the floor is probably the only thing I really know. It's going to it's gonna feel a lot like that room with some natural overgrowth. Walls, not so much. I'd like to use some glow berries, but they don't stick to half slabs. So we'll find something out. All right, I think we can call this room done. Uh, not a whole lot of detail added to it. And I definitely didn't spend an hour enchanting two hoes just to realize that you use an ax on giant mushrooms. <sighs> For everything that the hoe does now, it doesn't do mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll probably change these out at some point. Maybe not. They're decoration now anyway, so it works. It works. But yeah, this, this room's all done. Technically, this is a platform, so you can like climb up on top of the mushrooms if you want. It's not really that useful. It was just a way to break up this wall. Uh, I'm solving the mushroom spreading issue by... Dead bush. Uh, this is a custom player model head we get from our wandering traders. It's got a little face over there. <laughs> so I kind of turned it so it wouldn't be a distraction. But yeah, I, I really like how this room came out. It, it feels functional and decorative, but not over the top. And uh, of course, this thing works. I mean, I've been chopping down mushrooms in it's it's still going look you can see one growing right there once there's four on a platform or i should say two down here this thing really starts kicking in and they start growing pretty quick which is cool uh but yeah so what i want to do now is go over to these blank spaces like we've got one here and there and over there and we're gonna start filling in with brown mushroom and then we're gonna start doing packed mud as a bit of a texture, but we need to figure out our lighting situation because once we take these torches off the wall, it's gonna get pretty dark. But one thing at a time, let's turn the walls brown. textured brown mushroom packed mud like all the farms we've been doing in this base is leading to this thing being a finished product and i'm loving it uh th these are obviously not complete <laughs> we can't have torches on the walls and stuff like that but i haven't designed what i call the lighting window just yet which is planning on how to make sure these walls aren't pitch black we can actually see that they're brown and textured and stuff but before i do that i want to get this ceiling part done so i've been messing around down here and i think this is this is basically the texture we're going to go we took a modified uh basically snapshot of what we did in the in the storage room ceiling and we're going to do that here because it blends in Let's hop into the free cam. It blends in really well with our sides. So I'm going to have that going all the way around. And that'll let me know the height of the light window and all that stuff. So 
yeah i i'm really really happy with that i think it's gonna turn out pretty good i don't think we're gonna see this today this episode has taken so long to get out many things have come up the least of which this i should say this morning this afternoon i turned my computer on and nvidia basically forced me to do an update and now my computer's running at 15 degrees hotter than it normally does so the fans have just ramped up i'm not sure if you can hear them in the back of this right now or not so i need to do some editing i need to see how loud my computer actually is we're we're close on time for the episode as it is so i don't want to start a new project i just want to go ahead and get this out for you guys but next episode i will probably have this done all the way around the first floor and we'll start working on stuff like that but yeah if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more don't forget to hit the like button and as always subscribe i will see you in the next one bye